hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all it's time for another empties okay it is time for another oh y'all it's time for another empty so i have been stacking and saving all my empty containers and y'all i actually finished a good bit of products I actually finished a good bit of product so if you are new around here hey welcome we would love to have you go ahead and subscribe join our kinky crew family um comment it down below so i can personally welcome you to our fam mm -hmm, because we're growing and i like to know the people who come in and out we, lo we love to know each other we love to converse we love to share tips and tricks so y'all if you are new around here i had set a goal for myself at the beginning of this year to finish 100 hair skin beauty products so right now i think the last time i caught up we were, i was at like 72 hold on let me check my phone okay yeah yeah i checked my phone y'all last time i did it empty i was at 72 so we definitely will be finishing 100 products this year so i'm excited to see how many products we finish but y'all as y'all saw i have a bag full of empties and i'm talking too much because y'all know that my empties videos can get a little excessive Mm -hmm. so let's go ahead and get right on into it so nothing new here the first thing i pulled out of my empties bag is the just for me curl piece tender headed detangling treatment and y'all this is my favorite pre-poo this is featured in all of my empties videos i don't have any backups i need to go get me some because this is something that always needs to be in my stash it's 12 ounces of pure heaven i like this over any pre-poo that i have tried thus far um we love her mm -hmm. okay y'all so next we have the as i am coconut co-wash and y'all don't mind mine it's a little beat up but she is gone I know y'all like to see the inside of the containers so mm -hmm. this one is 16 ounces and every I think just about everybody who's natural has used the coconut co-wash um this was a backup I had and I actually don't think I'll be repurchasing this one y'all know that I really love the blue um dry and itchy scalp care one i absolutely love that co-wash but i also have the grow wash so i have a couple that i need to try and i really want to try the jamaican black castor oil one because i heard good things about that as well this one i think is a bit it's it's more cleansing than i think i want sometimes i don't know i don't know i really like the blue one a lot more i love the blue one so if i had to pick up an as i am co-wash i'm probably gonna pick up the blue one but this is still a great beginner co-wash if you don't know what you're looking for you're just getting into co-washes right, y'all so next is the mayel mongongo oil hydrating protein free conditioner And I did, of course, do a video of me reviewing this as well. I have reviews on a lot of these products, so I'm going to just go ahead and try to link as many videos as possible. But, of course, you can always go ahead and search Minx Kinks and whatever products that you're looking for. So, um, the Mayel conditioner, I wasn't super impressed by it in that initial review, but when I added heat, I liked it a lot better. I got this for $7.19 um it was cool to try but i don't plan on shopping with my l anytime soon if ever so um pick it up at your own will if you want to know more about it go ahead and check out the review but you know what i'm saying so next y'all y'all know that i stand body care on this channel over here and i went ahead and finished another body wash this is the shea moisture dragon's blood and coffee cherry rebound and revive bubble bath and body wash and this is for stressed skin um so this was an okay body wash i feel like i used this pretty quickly i mean it's 16 ounces like every other shea moisture body wash bubble bath situation it does smell good um it smells clean with like a hint of vanilla that's what i'm getting i like this body wash i found this at marshall's um i only had solid at marshall's that's why i picked it up because i had never seen this one before um i think this is one you could skip if you just like to try body washes like i do it was cool to try but would i repurchase it probably not okay y'all so next i have y'all favorite brand and this is chocolate kinks and curls green clay and mint clay wash 
and this is what this one looks like um i did use it up this wasn't my favorite um and this is the only product that i've had from chocolate King, chocolate kings and curls i think that it was a good clay wash was it better than my aztec no but i also saw that tresses of alexis y'all know we love her on this channel um she tried this and she said that this was her least favorite from the line so i do want to try them again i'm in no rush to try them though like i feel like um I have a lot of other products in my stash right now and I need to worry about finishing those before I want to give a brand another shot. This for me didn't do it for me. I wouldn't repurchase this one but I will repurchase it in a different um, flavor scent. Y'all know what I'm saying. Okay y'all so next I finished a shampoo. Come on somebody. This is the Acure Beauty. What is it? Argan Oil and Pumpkin shampoo and y'all it took me 50 11 years to finish the shampoo okay i've been using the shampoo um once a month for about a year and a half probably longer than that um i i did like this shampoo i found at first i didn't like it it's a little bit clarifying but i actually really really like this and it it's vegan, it's sulfate free, it's paraben free, it's cruelty free. I really like this one. There's no sulfates. I might buy this one again. Oh, once I finish up all of my shampoos and stuff, which is going to be 30 years from now. But I actually really like this shampoo. Not going to lie to y'all, I actually really did like it. Okay, y'all, so next I went ahead and finished this Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 3 Melba's Sea Kelp and Seaweed Clarifying Hair Mask. This is what it looks like. Gone. Um, so y'all, this wasn't my favorite product from Honey's Handmade. It was okay. Um, I've noticed that Honey's Handmade is having some consistency issues, as a lot of us have noticed. I had a lot of people comment under my um, Honey's Handmade video, let me know that they're having issues and everything. And me too, y'all. Me too. Um, this product had some grit in it for me, and even after rinsing it out, I would be putting in my leave-in and seeing grit and stuff in my hair, and that was a no bueno for me. So, um, as far as the mask, it was an okay mask. It did soften my hair. It did feel really nice, even after rinsing out. But is it my favorite Honey's Handmade mask? No. They have a ton of masks, so I would suggest, you know, go check out my other Honey's Handmade videos. But this wasn't my favorite one. All right, y'all. So next is another mask. As y'all can see, I be flying through these little eight ounce hair masks. This is the Unicurl um, Moisturizing and Silkening Deep Conditioner. That's what this one is looking like. I love this packaging. Again, gone. Um, I really did like this hair mask, but am I gonna go out of my way to purchase this? No. So um of some of y'all faves i know i know um and i did like this hair mask but do i love it i don't think i love it i don't think i love it will i repurchase it yes because i plan to buy some things from um unicurl at some point again i don't really think i'm participating in black friday this year if y'all want a video on that i can absolutely let you guys know why but I don't I don't really plan on purchasing this this black friday i do really like the mask but I don't know I feel like I need something else I feel like it's missing something for me and maybe it was just this one I'm not sure um I liked it I didn't love it so will I repurchase it yes but when I'm purchasing other things it's not like if they're having a $10 sale I'm not putting six CDs in my cart so next up I actually have a lotion and this is from love beauty and planet this is the coconut water and mimosa flower um, luscious hydration body lotion this is what it looks like and it is 13.5 ounces so y'all and it empties earlier this year i finished the body wash and i'm just now getting around to finishing the lotion so i actually really did like the body wash um would repurchase the body wash the lotion it was a cute summer lotion i will say that so i would repurchase it but i would use it during the warmer months um for the winter for the fall I may have to mix it with, you know, uh, baby oil or, you know, a, a butter. 
I don't know but I like the way it smells it smells super clean I wanted to use this up it took me forever to use because it's 13 ounces I really did like it but like I said it doesn't give me the same amount of moisture that I need for my dry skin in the winter so it would strictly be like a warmer weather repurchase okay y'all so I went ahead and finished up the Dr. Bronner's almond Castile soap <sighs> baby <laughs> this almond one smells so 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 good okay this is another one I got from Marshalls um I'm on a goal to try all the Dr. Bronner's it is what it is um the peppermint one is probably still my favorite I'm using the look you eucalyptus I'm using the eucalyptus one right now I really like this one but I like this almond one like I will probably repurchase this almond one I definitely will repurchase this almond one but this is one that I don't think I need to use every day I think that um some of them clean a little bit harsher than others and this one was wasn't as harsh so if you don't like that super harsh feeling but you want to use the Dr. Bronner's like regular soap isn't enough but the Dr. Bronner's some of them are a little too harsh I think that this one falls right in the middle it still gets your skin super clean and everything but it doesn't it's not as abrasive as some of the other ones like the peppermint personally i like the little abrasive um i do like this one i will repurchase this one but i think that this will be like in between some of the peppermints and eucalyptuses and you know even the unscented ones so i like this one i definitely will be repurchasing this one but um for this to be for everyday use probably not Alright y'all so next I have another hair mask and this is from Shea Moisture. This is the sugarcane extract and meadow foam seed silicone free miracle mask. I'm not sure why my camera's not focusing. She's on her own time today. Um, I didn't like this as a hair mask. Plain and simple. I do have a video on this. I didn't like this as a hair mask at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I didn't like it as a hair mask. Um... It is for heat styling, so I don't know if they were scared to put too much moisture in or mm, I don't really know. I know it's a dupe for the it's a 10. I do have a video, like I said, of me trying this as a hair mask, but I liked it a lot better as a pre-poo. Um, but am I paying regular price for this as a pre-poo? No, not when I can get just for me. So again, this one was cool to try, but will I be repurchasing? No. Would I recommend it? Mm -mm. All right, y'all. Uh-huh. I went ahead and finished up an oil. This is from Maui Moisture. This is the Strengthen and Anti-Breakage Raw Honey, Rich Honey and Raw Oil. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's 4.2 ounces. I would not repurchase this oil. It's a little too thin for me. Um, even in the summertime, because that's when I used it primarily. I want to say I used it pretty much spring and summer this year. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, um, I need something a little bit heavier. So it has rich honey, velvety hibiscus oil, and fresh pineapple extract. And all of that's nice and whatever. But I feel like I didn't feel nothing in my hair being sealed up. And that's the problem. I like to use butters in the winter. Um, so in the spring and summer, I don't necessarily need a butter. But I need to be able to feel the oil. And I didn't necessarily feel the oils with this one this one was just very very light so if you like oils but you don't want a heavy oil maybe give this one a try but for me and mine um we need something a little bit heavier because this hair is going to eat that right on up all right y'all so we are getting down to the bottom of the bag so next i have um the annabelle shower lotion and this is in the scent clean cotton so this is what this one looks like and it is i want to say this yeah this is eight ounces um i don't know if i got the wrong one or what i always hear people talking about annabelle's body lotions um i know people really like her body butters as well but um i wanted to try this it, this was a no this was an absolute no um it says on the directions apply to damp or dry skin after bathing so i tried it on damp skin because it's a shower lotion so i wanted to use it you know when i right after i dried off out the shower that was a hard no i felt like it wasn't sinking into my skin so i did end up using it up on dry skin after my skin you know absorbed a little bit of the water and everything um and even still it doesn't have the moisture that i think it does i like the clean cotton smell but it it didn't give what it said it was supposed to give. I don't know if I picked up the wrong thing. So feel free to let me know down in the description. Down in the comment section down below if I picked up the wrong thing. Um, but this, mm -mm, 
I will not be repurchasing this. No, ma'am. So next is another body product, y'all. This is Nair. We've all used Nair. We all know who Nair is. Um, this is just a regular one with rich cocoa butter and vitamin E. I use this on certain body parts. No, don't use this in your private area, ladies. Please. Please. Um, I use this in certain areas of my body. It's cool. Um, it's a repurchase for now until I'm uh, stop being scary and go get some waxes. That, that's, that's, that's the purpose it serves right now. Alright y'all, so next I have a couple hand sanitizers. This is just one. This is just a little one that I was gifted from um, the school that I graduated from a couple months ago. I have a graduation vlog if you're interested in that. It was only an ounce, so I put this in my car and she was gone in about two weeks. And then y'all, I have one from Bath and Body Works. This is the Peach Mango. The packaging's beat up. Mind your business. Again, this one is one ounce. But I feel like this one lasted a bit longer. I like to use more summer scents during the summer. And the Peach Mango was good. It was cute and whatever. Um, I love the little hand sanitizers. Those are forever repurchased for me. Alright y'all, so next I have another leave-in. And this is the um, Casey by Care Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all, this is absolutely one of my favorite leave-ins. This is 11.25 ounces. And do you, can we talk about it? Can we talk? Like, I think I started using this right at the ta tail end of um, 2020. And it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. The moisture in this... The, mo the moisture in this is just impeccable. Like, for this to be six, seven dollars at Sally's, Care Care stood up for us in this one. They really did. They really, really did. I, I, I thoroughly appreciate them for this product. It's free of sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, silicones, phthalates, and petroleum. So, this is a pretty clean product, y'all. Please, if you haven't tried this, if you're balling on a budget, come on, come on, like, th she's fire, uh-huh. All right, y'all, so I have another lotion. This is just a Vaseline spray lotion in the Coco Radiant. Um, will I repurchase? Debatable. Um, I pretty much use this, again, during the summer, the warmer months and everything when I was on the go. So maybe at the beach, after you got out of the pool, you know, those type of things. Do I need this in my stash all the time? Absolutely not. It doesn't give me the moisture. It gives me like hold over until you get home type moisture. You feel me? Like it's not, it doesn't, You. my skin needs something real, real dense. That's the word, dense, to get into my skin. And this is not that. So if you like lighter weight products, then go ahead and try this. But for me, I need something definitely heavier, definitely thicker. Um, I might pick it up for the purposes that I used it for. Um, but it's it's not a make or break product for me now. Alright y'all, I have a little rollerball perfume. And this is in the scent Ari by Ariana Grande. And y'all, I love this scent. I absolutely love this scent. I will be buying this in the full size. Can't really tell you much about it because the label's pretty much gone because I used it up. This was in my bag. It was in my book bag. It, it goes everywhere. So I will be getting this in the full scent. I love this. All right, y'all. So next I have the Sultanicals Hair Sorrel Nappy Licious Kink Drink. Um, this is eight ounces. I bought this because of Lorianne from Mad Curls. This is trash, okay? I don't know if it was me. I don't know what the problem is. Um, This product didn't do it for me. It didn't give me any moisture. It just felt like I was spraying stuff on my hair. I used it up as a refresher, you know, like the girls do. But it didn't, it didn't give me anything. It didn't give me any moisture. Even when I, like, drenched my hair, it didn't, um, it didn't do it, okay? It didn't, I felt deceived. This, mm-mm. Alright y'all, last two products. So this is the e.l.f. Super Hydrate um, Moisturizer with Hydrating Squalane. Um, this is a like trial size one. I'm actually using a bigger one. Um, it's not my favorite product. It's not horrible. It's just, it's just there. You know what I'm saying? 
and then I have the Bliss Mighty Marshmallow um, Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask and this again is a little mini one I think I picked these up from Target when they have like their little Christmas you know the little boxes and stuff um, I don't even remember this mask <laughs> I literally don't even remember this mask so if it's not memorable then that probably says enough so let me go ahead count these empties and then i'll be back and let y'all know where we are all right y'all so i went ahead and put everything back in our little bag our little empties bag and the girl finished 22 products <laughs> 22 products most of them being hair products so that now puts us at 94 products for the year okay can we can we get into it okay um so you guys know how hard it is to finish up a hair product but i've really been isolating products um just working really hard to finish some things um i have big plans for next year so i'm trying to finish as much stuff as possible you know what i'm saying so i'm very proud of myself if i do say so myself so yeah you guys let me know some products that you have been finishing down below let me know some products that you plan to use up in 2022 and yeah y'all i love you guys so much thank you guys for staying till the end of this video definitely like this video definitely share it with your friends and family and yeah y'all the next empties video is gonna come up in minxmas so stay on the lookout definitely make sure you have your notification bells on and i will see you guys in my next upload bye